Russian officials and military bloggers have reported ongoing heavy fighting in the southern Zaporizhia region of Ukraine. Ukrainian troops, supported by tanks, artillery, and drones, are reportedly attempting to advance south of the town of Orkiv for the second consecutive night. A senior Ukrainian defense official referred to the enemy's actions as active defense. Numerous military experts have highlighted Zaporizhia as the focal point of Ukraine's highly anticipated counter-offensive. The belief is that Kyiv aims to regain access to the Sea of Azov, effectively dividing the occupying Russian forces into two separate groups. This strategic move would significantly weaken the combat capabilities of the Russian forces in the region. On Thursday, the US-based Institute for the Study of War ISW, announced that Ukraine's counteroffensive had begun. Although Kyiv has remained tight-lipped about the matter, the UK Defence Ministry acknowledged that heavy fighting persists across multiple sectors of the front, amid a complex operational situation. However, it added that Ukraine currently holds the initiative in most areas. Following President Vladimir Putin's order for a full-scale invasion in February 2022, Russia seized control of most of the Zaporizhia region, including Europe's largest nuclear power plant. The regional capital, Zaporizhia city, remains under Ukrainian control. Late on Thursday, several Russian pro-Kremlin military bloggers reported that Ukraine had resumed its attacks overnight. They claimed that armored personnel carriers and drones directing artillery fire were deployed. Vladimir Rogov, a Russian-installed local official, confirmed active fighting between Orykiv and Tokmak. With Russian troops maintaining their positions, the town of Tokmak is considered a crucial target for Ukraine as it aims to advance toward the Sea of Azov. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shuigu stated that the previously reported Ukrainian assault had been repelled, causing harm to the enemy. However, no evidence was provided to support his claim. Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister, Hanna Malyar, simply stated that Russian forces were currently in active defense along the Zaporizhia direction. In its most recent update, Ukraine's military declared that the enemy remains on the defensive in the Zaporizhia region and neighboring Kherson, an area affected by severe flooding following a major dam collapse earlier in the week. The Ukrainian military also reported Russian airstrikes and artillery usage in the region throughout the day. Ukraine has been meticulously planning its counteroffensive for months, desiring adequate time to train its troops and acquire advanced military equipment from Western allies. Last month, Alexei Danilov, Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, confirmed to the BBC that Kyiv was prepared to launch the attack, although no specific date was disclosed. 